Hello and welcome back to Overbooked. I'm Amanda and today we're doing the Cozy Autumn Book Tag. This tag was created by The Book Bell so I will link her and her original um, tag video below so check her out. And like I said in my last video, um, your girl is running, running out of ideas. She's been busy and so tags are really fun way to get videos done. So we're gonna keep doing some tags and we're gonna continue on with this one. Mm, 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 mm. Let's go. I will say fall is like my favorite season. I It's one beautiful. The trees are breathtaking. I love the changing colors. I just, I love it. And I also really enjoy like a crisp, like chill day. Like I love like I like going, I go for a walk usually every day and yesterday I went for a long walk and it was like chilly, like I was kind of cold, but it wasn't like freezing, like it was like 40, low 50s, like I just love that. And honestly, I just really want fall or summer. There's like no in between for me. So I'm glad the autumn is here. Here we are. I'm loving it. And I have this like cute little jumper that I got. Has all of the fall colors and I'm loving it. I love all the questions down below. So if you wanna reference them, check that out. So first question, what book always reminds you of fall, autumn? So I couldn't really think of an, anything, but when I kind of like strolled through my Goodreads, um, there is a book that I think always takes me back to like fall, autumn. That's a book called The Broken Girls by Simone St. James. And I actually think I did a book review on it last year around this time. And it's like the scary, like scary. It's probably very tame compared to whatever other people read, but it's like supposed to be like um, a thriller historical kind of book. Uh, so it takes place in Vermont and it's like about this uh, girl's boarding house for girls, like troubled girls during the 50s would be sent there. And there was like a mysterious disappearance slash murder that happened there. And then eventually the school like shut down. And then the book goes back and forth from the 1950s to present day, which is like 2014. And we have a young woman who is our protagonist and she still is not over her younger sister's death that happened like 10, 20 years ago or something. And she, like her sister was supposedly killed on the grounds of the school. And so when she finds out the school is gonna be reopened, she wants to like dig into it cause she's a journalist and find out. So it like opens up all of these interesting forgotten memories and stories essentially. Can of worms, I guess you could say. And so she starts figuring out a lot of things, not only about her sister's death, but about the death that happened at this boarding school. It was a really like fun, I guess I don't know if fun's the right word, but like scary kind of book to read. And it was definitely like, I felt like they were in this permanent fall. Cause like, I just felt like there was still like leaves slowly falling down off the branches. Like I just felt like, oof. And like, when, if you look at the cover, you can see like branches and like a leaf. And it just seems like a fall spooky read. I'm just like looking at the cover to confirm what it looks like. So yeah, that's a, uh, a book that reminds me of fall. What is your favorite autumnal, 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 autumnal? Is that a word? Hmm. What is your favorite fall book cover? And I definitely have one. And I have been in love with this cover forever. There's a book that I read a couple years ago and it's called The Tea Girl of Hummingbird Lane. And it's like the perfect fall aesthetic cover. Should I put it here? give myself some space. Sometimes when I'm editing, I'm like, Amanda, you're like, I don't put the cover here. And then my face is like over here. But yeah, so it's um, here. And it's just like a super like beautiful, one, beautiful cover. I love this cover. And two, it's just a perfect fall cover. They're all fall colors. It's There's leaves, like there's a sapien tones in it. It's just really really pretty so this is like actually a really i really love this book and i think i read this before i like started book two but this is a story about um it's a historical fiction book set in like i can't remember i can't remember exactly where it's set in but it's set in like somewhere in asia and it focuses on this woman who works this tea farm like they farm tea leaves 
and sell them and she gets pregnant and out of wedlock and she has to essentially give up her baby because she knows she's not gonna be able to offer her baby a great life. And so she leaves her baby at an orphanage and eventually she grows into herself, starts her own new life and she wonders what happened to her child. And the book goes between like her daughter and like her life and then her mother trying to find her and find what happened to her. Um, and it was a really, really good, powerful book. And I just thought it was just really, really cool. So um, I definitely recommend it. If you guys haven't heard of that book or read it, it's really good. And it's a perfect fall cover. Okay, so what is your favorite, I'm gonna keep saying fall, drink to read with? Um, I usually don't really have anything that I'm really drinking while I read. So it's no different than any other season. Um, I would say probably coffee and water is what I have. So that's it. And I have black coffee, so I'm not even fun. Like I'm not even putting any fun seasonal cream in there. It's just coffee, black coffee. Next question. Do you prefer to read late at night or early in the morning? Ooh, this is, I also just got asked this in the Spiderweb book tag. I prefer both. I would love to read in the morning, which I actually just did this morning. And I love reading on my couch. The light's really nice in the morning. I really enjoy it. But I also don't always enjoy reading. Like this morning when I was reading, I just kept thinking of all the things I needed to do. So most of the time I prefer reading like in the afternoon or in the evening just because morning time is usually the time where I like clean, do my dishes, like do everything, work out, like just get all my tasks done for the day. And then I like just reading when everything's done. So if everything was done and I didn't have a care or responsibility in the world, then I would always want to read in the morning probably. Halloween is coming. It is. What is your favorite spooky read? Mm -hmm. I haven't really read a lot of spooky books this year. And I don't know if I really have a favorite. I did super enjoy, and I think I talked about this in my last tag, but I really did like um, The Last Time I Lied by Riley, Riley Sager. I really liked that. That was really spooky. Um, I thought that was a really good book. And I know this probably is like just said over and over again, but I also really enjoyed Gone Girl. Like I read it last year for the first time. And um, I somehow was able to not spoil it in like the six years that it's been out, especially with the movie. Like I didn't know anything about it. I didn't know the plot. I didn't really know the ending. I had no idea. And so I was very surprised and shocked by all of it. So that was a really fun spooky read or thriller, I guess. I don't really know that spooky. A spooky read, I guess, was the book I already talked about, which was The Broken Girls by Simone St. James. That was a pretty spooky book. But I don't know if that was my favorite. I don't really know. I don't really read a lot of spooky books. It's not my favorite genre. So I don't know if I really have favorite, you know? What is the ultimate comfort read for you? Oof, I don't know. Probably I like a nice, like contemporary, like literature fiction book that I can just like cozy up with, really get lost and immersed in the story and get carried away and breeze through. I guess that's like probably my ultimate comfort book or like a really good like historical fiction book. Either or. I really like that. Right now I'm reading The Vanishing Half. Here she is. I just want to show her because like I just think this cover is so pretty. The other night I turned to Chandler I'm like isn't this cover just really pretty? And he was like yeah I guess and that was that conversation. But I think like a book like The Vanishing Half or any other kind of like just I don't know really I don't know how to describe this, but <laughs> what is The Vanishing Half? What's it like um, categorized as? Maybe this is why I'm not a good booktuber because I don't really know terms. Contemporary, yeah, like contemporary literary adult fiction, historical fiction, contemporary literary fiction, adult. There you have it. But yeah, like a literary fiction, contemporary novel. I just get so like this morning, I was like, okay, Amanda, we're only gonna read to page 100 and then we're gonna do the tasks that we need to do for the day. And I was like, Ugh, I don't know. Getting too caught up in these characters. Gotta keep going. What is your favorite fall reading snack? I'll just say what my, fall, my favorite fall snack is. I really, really love um, like cinnamon donuts, like a donut or like Chandler and I will go to like a, an apple, I was gonna say an apple mill, <laughs> a cider mill or something. There's like a ton of them here in Michigan. 
except like we haven't been going this year obviously because of the pandemic we've only gone to like one and I was like it's really crowded here but I like getting cider and I like getting donuts and I like like the cinnamon sugar donuts oh so good and it's definitely tastes different when you get them like at the cider mill versus like getting them at the grocery store like I don't know what it is oh, they're just so good so delicious at the cider mill mm. maybe it's like the overpriced thing like oh, I'm paying almost five times as much for half the quantity. I ha like in my mind, I have to make it taste good, but they do taste really good. What is your favorite fall candle to burn whilst reading? Hmm. So I do love a good candle while I'm reading. I will say that. And there is a candle right now that I have gotten from Target that I've been saving. I lit it yesterday. Oof, it's so delicious. A uh, cinnamon pumpkin muffin. Yum. I would say like anything like cinnamon, pumpkin. Mm, I'm super into it. So good. So good. And I was really bummed that the only size of this candle was this size. Like I wanted to get a big fat candle. <sighs> I was pissed. I'm not into apple scents though. I know some people are like, oh, like cinnamon apple candle. No, I don't want to smell apples. Okay. I just want to smell a different fruit, like pumpkin. When you're not reading, what is your favorite fall activity? Ooh, probably going to like an apple orchard or a cider mill like I talked about before, or just going for like a walk. I really enjoy, like I said, walking a lot and going and seeing like the trees and stuff. But um, obviously it's been different this year because of the pandemic. We haven't gone to any cider mills or anything. So that's been kind of disappointing and um, yeah, but I was actually thinking about this weekend going for like a, a walk on like a trail or something and just taking in the fall colors because what else are you gonna do during this time? But usually I really love going to like um, a cider mill or something. I think last year Chandler and I went to a couple of them and they're just, I don't know, they're fun to be at, they smell good, there's always good food and yeah. or. I, I was thinking about this last night too when I was or yesterday when I was on my walk is like this time of year is like always like a time when I miss being in high school and I say that with a fair warning I hated high school fucking hated it I hated high school I hated being there I remember I would count on the years till I could leave but I will say this I loved going to football games I loved being in the, like the like football area and it's cold and you can watch and you have your sweatshirt on and I guess like in college too when we would tailgate it probably reminds me of that is so I really love doing that in the fall like I love tailgating and going to football games and I really don't want my son future son or daughter to play football because of like concussions and stuff but I would love if they did play football because then I could just go to football games all the time maybe I'll just like go anyways like Chandler and I would be the parents, but oh, does your kid play? I'm like, nah. I don't think that'd be weird though. Like I'd be like, people go to college football games all the time and no one, they don't know anyone that plays. I guess it might be more weird in high school, but. So last question, what is on your fall reading list? Ooh, man, I don't know. I, so I've been trying to watch a lot more booktube videos recently and I've been utilizing that watch later thing. And everybody's been doing like their fall, like TBR and their fall haul and like their, like what thriller books you should read for the spooky season. And I'm like, oh, all of these sounds so good. But now my TBR and like my Goodreads, like watch or read thing is like ridiculous. So I don't know. I have no idea what I really actually want to get to. So there is, um, an indigenous readathon next month in November that I'm actually trying to like really participate in. So I don't really know if there's any other books, I guess, that I'm gonna try to squeeze in before then. I was watching, um, oh my gosh, what was her name? When I edit this video, I'll make sure I link it below. But there was uh, one of the videos I was watching, she recommended this book called The Cutting Season and it just sounded like a really good fall book. So maybe I'll try to squeeze that in. And I heard that, I'm like scrolling through what I want to read. <laughs> I heard that When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole is also very good and like, it's like a thriller book. So I think it could probably be a good 
October like fall read so maybe I'll try to read that as well but otherwise I mean I think this is almost like a really good fall read because it's like my comfort read anyways so whatever and that's it those are the questions how what fun oh my gosh so thanks for watching and if you would like to do this you are tagged as always I tag anyone who's wanting to do this video to do this tag it was fun loved it and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already it means the world to me to see that you guys subscribe to my channel so you know don't be shy and comment below what you're reading any thoughts or just a little little note or whatever i like to see those and yeah thanks for watching and i will see you guys next time